The French philosopher Jean-Paul Sartre spent a lifetime defying conventional logic. The man who never felt so free as under German occupation would go on to challenge almost every assumption about the way we live in his search for the meaning of freedom. What struck me in Sartre, I would say the physical, nearly physiological sense of freedom. A sort of uh, freedom em embodied, uh, made body. He was, he was freedom. It was while in a German prisoner of war camp that Sartre, working in secret, first began to realize the potential of his ideas about personal freedom. He didn't know it at the time, but they would become the basis for the philosophy known as existentialism, which would transform the mental landscape of post-war Europe. Ideas so potent, they would turn Sartre himself into a cult figure, an entirely new kind of thinker who seemed to speak to the ordinary people. It was no accident that Jean-Paul Sartre's philosophy reached a really wide public for the first time during the immediate aftermath of World War II. France was an exhausted country, ashamed of its past and fearful of the future. And Sartre's ideas brought a message of hope. Everybody realised that the old frameworks of values on which they'd depended, you know, perhaps for generations, were collapsing. And Sartre's idea was that this was actually a fantastic moral opportunity. Other people were wringing their hands and saying, nobody believes in Christianity anymore, nobody believes in the, in the family and in the moral standards of our mothers and fathers and our grandparents. And Sartre's idea was that actually, from a moral point of view, that was brilliant, because it meant that people were taking responsibility for their actions in new kind of ways. Though Sartre always wanted to be a writer, he initially took a post as a school teacher. During his spare time, he developed a strong interest in phenomenology, a new branch of philosophy that offered a radical account of the workings of human consciousness. In 1933, he took a year off and went to Berlin to study under Edmund Husserl, the world's leader in that field. When Sartre returned to Paris, he felt he had found an entirely new way of seeing man's existence in the world. <laughs> 